Hello folks, looks like you are just in time to watch us get this load of logs. We uh, go to the bush today and we get uh, a 16 foot log. We are going to try to get uh, maybe three, maybe four uh, inch and a half by six inch planks out of there so we can start sheeting the outside of our wall, our purlings for our pole building, pole barn. I want to show you the few main tools I use when I go to the bush. First off, chainsaw. That's a must. Chainsaw file. Chainsaw wrench. Spare belt for the snowmobile. Pulp hook. Measuring tape. Trusty snowmobile. If you can call it trusty. <laughs> And a set of bobsleighs. Now with that said, I have a few other things to take with me as well. Because I make videos obviously. I take this audio device, I take the camera, and I take the tripod now. Not too bad I think. That branch up there that broke folks and that's what you got to watch for in here you see that broke right off there it's running down about here that is brutal on the head that's why we're always careful not to walk under these guys when you cut them we always look up there was even one stuck in the ground you just threw that out of the way I guess yeah, it was over here anyway it come down and stuck straight in the ground here yeah. First thing I will do, Heather, is I'll cut that off square. That winter chain oil, folks, you can hear it's a little thin for this time of year. You hear it chattering on the bar. Do you hear that, Heather? Mm -hmm. The vibration? It's not, it's not uh, thick enough yet. We just bought it today and it was in a warm store. And we took it into the house after the ride home. It was in the house and it's about 85 degrees in that house, so that oil got really thin. So, what I'll do is I will leave that chain oil now out in the old house or out in the old trailer we're going to measure and we're going to see if we can get let's see where 16 foot goes heather maybe we can start cutting some 16 footers to start closing in that building where's 16 foot that's 16 okay let's see if we can grab that okay watch yourself heather How heavy is that going to be? Nothing to it, Heather. So we will be able to haul 16 footers out, I guess, no problem.
I have to sharpen this as well. It's getting dull, Heather. Eight foot for this, babe. Is that eight foot? Okay, I got it. Sixteen foot, folks. We're gonna see if we can load these. They shouldn't be too bad. Oh, grab this end, Heather, please. Grab that. You got it. Yeah. Hold on a minute. Yeah. Just go easy. Okay. Oh, I'm okay. I don't want to trip on the sleigh. Okay. Set that down. We'll put this right back in here. Could you grab the fault look for me, please? I will do the rack back up. Do you want to use that at your end? Well, here, if I stick this in, if I stick this in here, Heather, it'll be easier for you to get it. I know you don't like using it, but it's just too hard to stick it in. That won't come out now. You can come to this end. <clears throat> it's gonna be heavy now, it's 16 foot. Can you lift it? You're doing good. Set her down. Yeah, just... Oh, I'm just gonna slide it ahead. That's good there. Right to the far side, Heather. Actually, right in the center. Right here? Yes, that's good. Right there. That is a lot easier. Than it, it is easier, yes. I'm going to order you one of those. Once you stick those in, they're great. I'm gonna ream these holes out someday so they're easier to get these bolts in to lock them on. So now that is just over 16 foot long. Do you have that measuring tape? And it's eight and a half inches at the butt. We might get, we might get a six inch out of that. Okay, now what I want to do is straighten these bunks out. Can you straighten that one out? Turn it just so it's parallel with this one. More yet. Oh, too much. Back a bit more. A little more. A little more. There. We got her. Now we are going to strap that stuff on here. If you don't mind. Right on the other side. Watch 
himself. Wiggle that down in there. That's good like that, Heather. Let's drop the front down first. Right here. Straighten the strap out. We don't want to twist in it. Are you hooked up good and tight? Wrap it around, pass it back to me, please. Thank you. Here's somebody out cutting firewood. You hear that chainsaw running in the distance? Can you hear that, Heather? Oh, yeah. This one. Strap this one on as well. So that's our first 16 foot log of this winter. Not too bad, eh? You wanna straighten that out as well. It's got quite a twist in it. That's from when I brought that snowmobile home that day. This is our first 16 foot log coming up this hill, folks. Now it's really icy down here. Last time I didn't have the straps, so the back of my sleigh went sideways. Now I can feel my snowmobile trying to go sideways. This load isn't that heavy though. Just one 16 footer. But it's all icy there. Get off here. Nothing to it, folks.